Hi. Now it's time for another interview, a short one for a talk about Elvis. My name is Stig Ulriksen and I'm the one making all these short ones for you. I just want to inform you that in the future, now we have been making them every day, but in the future there'll be two or three new ones a week. So uh, please remember to subscribe so you get information when a new one is out. And we'll of course continue trying to make subtitles to all the short ones. And I'm also working on making short titles to all my long ones. Uh, so please subscribe so you can follow. And I'm very happy that you have decided to watch my programs. See you. So one day in 1957, all my buddies, we had a little group, a little club. We heard that Elvis was coming for a rock concert. We never heard of that before. It didn't exist. And I grew up in Southern California, in Hollywood, and there's an auditorium called the Pan Pacific Auditorium. And it was for the boat show and the auto show and different events. This is where Elvis was going to come. So we went, my buddies and I, we all had tight jeans, we rolled up, we had duck tails, cigarettes, you know, in our sleeve. We went to this auditorium, and all of a sudden, we experienced something we never saw before. Thousands and thousands of kids coming in from all directions. We were so excited. Electricity in the air, you could feel it. And we were so naive, we didn't know about, you have to have a ticket. We were kids, we were, I was 16, 17 years old. And we thought someone would say, hey, come on, come in with us. But it didn't happen. So all of a sudden, everyone goes into the auditorium, and all I knew was, I had to see Elvis. I had to see Elvis. So we walked to the side of the building and we tried to break open a door and it wouldn't budge. We went to the end of the building and we did the same thing, it wouldn't budge. Someone wanted to break a window, but we, we wouldn't do that. So now everyone's in the building, we hear screaming, and we walked to the other side of the building and I said, look, there he is, there's Elvis. And he was about 20 feet away, standing with a bunch of guys in front of him, about five guys. He was wearing a gold jacket. I said, come on, you guys, let's go say hi to Elvis. And when I looked at him, them, they were petrified. They, was, they would move. And I, I knew that they, they were not going to go with me. I said, well, I'm going. And I ran up to Elvis. And I still was, in the, at that time, I didn't achieve the height that I have now. So it's much smaller. And I run up to Elvis. And he turns around and he looks at this kid running. I run up to him and... I looked at that face, the hair, the eyes, his lips, and here he was in person. My jaw dropped, and he looked at me, he realized what was happening, and he said, hi, I'm Elvis Presley. <laughs> and I said, hi Elvis, I'm Larry Geller, it's so great to meet you. And the minute I said that, one of the guys said, Elvis, you're on. He went just like that. You're on. Come on, man. They want you. And Elvis looked at me and said, well, you heard what he said. Talk to you some other time. And he walked off into the auditorium. <laughs> I stood there. Strangers walked up to me. People are shaking my hand. Some girl put her arm around me. <laughs> I thought, hey, this is cool. <laughs> this is really cool. <laughs>